Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. The other day I put up a video on automating and the song I was using is this cheesy sort of synth wave track. And I had a comment from Tony saying that I should be using gated reverb on the snare. And he is absolutely right. And also on the toms. Here's how those drums sound without any gated reverb. And then I'll show you what it sounds like with it. And then I'll show you how to set up gated reverb for a similar sort of thing. Let's go over to my Gator Reverb track, unmute it. Here's the same thing with the Gator Reverb. What I'm using is Valhalla Room and Regate. So there is kind of a trick to setting this up. I will just start this over. So I'll delete that track, bring in a new track. start off with the reverb. What you're looking for is kind of an over-the-top sound. You want lots of decay. You want quite a lot of the high frequencies there, and uh, you don't want any of the early reflections there. We could probably even turn down the pre-delay entirely, but we'll start with this. So I'm going to make a send from snare track over to the reverb track. It's going at minus six, that's fine. And it's post fader. So here's how it sounds with just the snare drum going into the reverb. Really, really long reverb. The term gated reverb comes from the fact that you're putting a gate on the reverb. You don't just put the gate on the reverb, you have to sidechain gate the reverb. So there's a trick to making quick sidechain inputs for Reaper and the uh, Reaper plugins. You drag the routing button onto the plugin. It automatically sets it up for going to output three and four, or actually input three and four of this track. And you just have to set auxiliary input. We hit this, we're going to hear the uh, tail of the reverb being shut down every time the snare goes. And then we can adjust these to uh, bring in the amount of reverb for this track and how fast it turns off. So this effect can't really be done without the gate. Just setting a shorter decay time to the length that you want won't work because you're not going to have that really dense reverb sound. So Really, this is the only way, and it's only two plugins to get this trick, so not too difficult. So after that, we want to uh, copy the two sends here, this one, the Gator Reverb, and this Gator Reverb send. I'm going to copy those over to Tom A and uh, A, B, and C. And these might be a little bit loud, but we'll see. All right, so Tom's. So let's go back to the full song. All right, so bringing in that gated reverb. It sounds bad, but in a good way, it fits the genre better. So anyways, that's how you make a gated reverb effect, should you need it pretty easy in Reaper, and it sounds cool sometimes. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. If you enjoy what I'm doing, you can leave a monthly donation through Patreon to help support the site. Please visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.